the transient analysis of electric circuit containing nonlinear elements performed with cost simulation with external circuit simulator. Equipped field circuit editor is limited by passive linear elements. Some of the elements, uh, nonlinear inductor, the transformer, could be added as the field simulation model parts. And another option to extend quick field capabilities is to perform cost simulation with some other circuit simulator. So here is the simple circuit. The charge capacitor is connected to the inductor. And our task is to calculate the current in time. You know this is the real inductor represented here on the right. It features not only the inductance but also the resistance. So the equation describing the process in this circuit is presented here. And the solution depends on this value. And in case of the complex value, we will have the oscillating process fading in time. Now let's start quick field. There are two parts in this analysis. There is the quick field part. And quick field task is to calculate the inductance. And to solve this task, we need to perform the electromagnetic field analysis. So this is the electromagnetic problem, and these are the blocks representing the air, the inductor, and the core. And the core is made of ferromagnetic material with nonlinear properties. You can see the BH curve. So Kuhil will perform only the field simulation part. And the circuit simulation part will be performed by the NGSPICE circuit simulator. Here you can see the NG spy simulator. The interaction between quick field and the circuit simulator is governed by the Excel. So here is the Excel file. It contains the makers that invokes quick field to calculate the inductance. The inductance which corresponds to the current value in the circuit. Then it invokes external simulator.
to calculate the current in this circuit. So the analysis performed step by step. Initially we calculate the current, then we calculate the inductance, then we calculate the current for the next step. So we should specify again the integration parameters, the time integration step, and the total number of steps. Now let's take a look inside our program. It's not a very large problem. In fact, the quick field part is as small as this. We invoke quick field application. We get the quick field problem, the this problem. And for the quick field block we assign the current the current calculated by the engine spice we assign the current for the N1 block then we solve the problem open the results and calculate the plugs linkage then if we divide the flux by the count and multiply by the square number of turns we will get the inductance so this function calculates the flux and then divide the flux by the count number of tons and get the inductance value of. The inductance value is then once calculated is submitted to the circuit file that is preceded by the NGSPI simulator. We write the circuit file with the inductance value and then run the NGSPI simulator to calculate the current value. And this is performed with a small time increment step by step Now let me show you it in action. I will show you both the quick field and the Excel file so you can see what is happening. Now here I specify the time integration steps, the circuit parameters, and the circuit is automatically created through this circuit Excel sheet. This is the circuit in terms of engine by simulator. Now let's run the simulation. Quick field calculates inductance value and the circuit analysis is performed by Angus Pies. There is no 
electric circuit in quick field. When the results are ready, we can take a look at the current changing in time and the voltage changing in time. This is how the capacitor was discharging. And you may note that this is not the ideal sinusoidal form, as it would be in case of linear inductor. Our, the inductance of a real coil depends on the current, and when the current value is high, the core is saturated and the inductance value decreases. This example is published on our website so you can download and modify the code.